Hello, my friends. I am back with Exodus. No, Exodus, not Genesis. <laughs> Last time. Exodus 6. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand he will let them go. And with a strong hand he will drive them out of his land. And God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, Lord, I was not known to them. I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage and in which they were strangers. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel whom the Egyptians keep in bondage. I have remembered my covenant. Therefore say to the children of Israel, I am the Lord. I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will rescue from their bondage and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments. I will take you as my people and I will be your God. Then you shall know I am the Lord your God who brings you out from under the bonds of burdens of e the Egyptians. And I will bring you into a land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I will give it to you as a heritage. I am the Lord. So Moses spoke thou to the children of Israel, but they did not heed Moses because of anguish of spirit and cruel bondage. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Go in, go in and tell Pharaoh king of Egypt to let the children of Israel go out of his land. And Moses spoke before the Lord, saying, The children of Israel have not heeded me. How then shall Pharaoh heed me? For I am uncircumcised lips. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron and gave them a command for the children of Israel and for Pharaoh, the Pharaoh king of Egypt. Bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, the family of Moses and Aaron. These are the heads of their father's household, the son of Reuben, the firstborn Israel. Firstborn of Israel was Hancock, Palo, Rizan, and Kama. These are the families of Reuben, and the son of Simeon were Jamal, Jerain, Ohad, Jorkin, Zor, Shal, the son of Canaanite women. These are the families of Simeon. These are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations. Ganush, Kanoth, Merah. And the years of life of Levi were 137. The sons of Ganush were Liban and Simeon according to their families. And the sons of Kath were Ammon, Ezer, Harbon, and Uzla. And the years of life of Canaan were 133. The sons of Merah were Mel, Mush, Mushi. These were the families of Levi according to their generations. Yes, I probably pronouncing them wrong, but that's the best I can do. Now, Aram took for himself Jebedet, his father's sister, as a wife, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. And the years of life of Aram were 137. The years of Esser were Kar, Nimplimph, Isaac. The sons of Esser were Meshel, Isabel. <laughs> Aaron took for himself Isabel, daughter of Amla, sister of Nosh, as wife. And she bore him Nab, Alva, Ezer, and Elmeth. The sons of Keth were Zer. Zer, Ekam, Ezbeth, these were the families of the Karns. Ezra, sons, Ezra, Aaron's son, took for himself one of the daughters of Poodle as wife, and she bore him Phineas. These are the heads of the fa father's house of the Levites, according to their families. These are the same Aaron and Moses, whom the Lord said, Bring the Bring out the children of Egypt, children of Israel, yeah, from the land of Egypt, according to their armies. These are the ones who spoke to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring out the children of 
Israel from Egypt. These are the same Moses and Aaron. Aaron is Moses' spokesman. And it came to pass on the day that the Lord spoke to Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, I am the Lord. Speak to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that say to you all that I say to you. But Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I am uncircumcised lips. How shall Pharaoh heed me? So you can tell Moses didn't have confidence. That's why he had his brother Aaron speak to the king of Egypt for him because he didn't have confidence in his speech. Later on the, down the road, you find out they didn't need Aaron anymore and he got enough confidence to do it. It's course Moses was young at that time but down the road when he got older he had more confidence um, but yeah that's the family of names I can't pronounce um, yeah pretty bad when I can't pronounce the names well they're names that uh, these people these days would probably wouldn't you know, name their kids because they would be, um, yeah, really hard names to pronounce. Um, but anyway, Moses still scared and children of Egypt won't listen to God's word. He's God's word. Um, they're being impatient and they didn't like the suffering. So I don't think anyone wants, likes to suffer, but realize as Christ followers, we are going to suffer because that's what God says in the word that we are going to have hardships. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be like, Hey, it's really easy because if we hold on to God, our rewards, when we go, he go to heaven will be great. And all the hard work we did and the prosecution we did will be rewarded greatly in heaven for us. So, Yes, um, we had to go, I mean, everybody has to go through a lot of stuff, but if you stay to the word and not get frustrated, not go off the word, um, you'll feel better about yourself. I mean, that's how I feel because I, like I said, I am, a, what is it, very passionate for the word, very passionate. You can tell that I go off topic, which I'm doing right now. But I just want to let people know I'm very passionate about the word. I'm not going to beat you over the head with the word because that's not what God wants us to do. God wants us to love one another. Um, I mean, yeah, it does get, I mean, it does get sad when people do not follow God's word and they go astray. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father. Help Exodus 6 to reach people. Help them to just learn and understand your word, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.